Still got the June gloom, the weather's chunking. It's almost, kind of almost like it's raining, but it's not. It's like a little misty. Let's get out there. All right, all right, all right, YouTubes. I got a call this week about a ice maker that was leaking water, and I found a drip on the water inlet solenoid valve. Real common call on a Manitowoc ice maker. I'll bring you guys along for it. A little shot of the cockpit. We've got the new Rancid going. New Rancid record out if you want to get your super grooves on. I'm enjoying it. Try not to get a copyright strike. Oh yeah. All right, here we go. The IY050. And you can see it's been leaking water. But a goodie. Water tube off and we'll take off. Two mounting bracket bolts right here, quarter inch. Right there and right there, get that off. That holds the bracket that holds this. And then the bottom's just a barb fitting. Driver in there. Get her loosened up for the old fingerish bang. <laughs> on this ice maker. Scale. 
very notorious on these. So we want to, what you want to do is align this bracket for the reinstall on your new one. Let's check it out. There is the new part made in China. There it is. Get the whole kit. I like to orientate it like this one. There it is, it's ready to go. Same orientation. The fitting looks good. Check your coil voltage. And you're gonna get a bunch of spare parts. There it is. And you got spare parts, spare parts for different configurations. I like to keep this stuff. We'll keep, we'll keep these screws and things. Then all we have to do is our rebuild. Ooh, look at that tube's a little bit longer. That would cause a problem. So I need to cut that tube back. Let's mark it. So that was a good check. Well, we want to cut it back to right here. Norcal's tip of the day. Check your tube length. See? Actually, I can make it a little shorter. Take it to the top line. <clears throat> I'll just grab some diagonals. Haircut. Bury the Herman. Ah, uh, there it is. Shrink, shrink, shrink. Go reverse of how we pulled it out. Get this little guy on there and get the wires going. Now, remember, one of the first things I did was unplug it. Look at that, like a glove. Fitting like a glove, like a glove, glove, glove. Okay. I'll go like that, I'll come back like this. I'll get a little line up. And my nut driver's got a magnet in it, so that helps a ton. Get that one started. Get this one going, then you can go ahead and bury it down. Water 
line, make sure it seats good in that connector. Okay. I just like to double check. And then pull back on it. Okay. That feels pretty good. Get a little insulating. That's pretty much it for that side. These little buggers, I'm gonna keep on my truck and my little boxer. rubber do ski coming the inlet valve into here fill this up go that way go this way and then come out here from the front track onto here down and then they were catching it in these and that's where my water was leaking from Real common service call on these. Sometimes you'll need to install a water pressure regulator. Um, and the install instructions will tell you what the maximum PSI you can have on the water line coming in. And uh, sometimes you have to install a water pressure regulator or these valves will keep blowing up on you. NorCal's tip of the day. Got the new water filter in check the water pressure it's about 48 psi so that's not enough to blow that valve up get your new valve in charge it up run a bunch of water through here to get it charged up that'll charge up your filter i've already had it pre-charging before that but i wanted to show you that and we'll carry on i want to make sure i don't have any leaks so i'm going to double check this thing watch it and I'm gonna start cleaning this ice maker. So far, so good. Wash cycle, so we're purging. You can see how good my flow is on the dump valve. A lot of times, this tube right here, for a heads up, this tube right here of the dump valve, going back to this fitting in your drain, will plug up and cause mega troubles. It'll cause harvest troubles. Um, all kinds of problems. This tube gets plugged up or your dump valve's not working. And that's one of the first things I always like to check on Manitowoc's. When I get a call for no ice is to make sure the dump valve's working or it's not leaking by. Sometimes it'll leak by in ice making mode. Just keep dumping the water out. So that's another heads up. Real common on Manitowoc's. 
the whole thing and I noticed the machine's too far back for airflow coming into the condenser and I'll show you. And I saw this and I'm like, what the hell's going on? They're getting the floor redone. So the floor's getting redone and they got the machine shoved back. And look what they do with the air baffle is just crushed. And that kind of helps you get your minimum airflow into your condenser. So as soon as they get this uh, floor done, this needs to get needs a major redo. As soon as they get the floor fixed, that needs to go, that needs to get back into action right there. So man, you really, really, when you come on a machine, you really got to look at everything. Now they're getting away with this right now because the weather's cold. Or it's not, it hasn't heated up yet. We get hot days back here, even though there's an exhaust fan right here, which is nice. It's really good. Uh, dude. Mm -mm -mm. Come on, man. We're getting this thing wrapped up. Get it together. All right, this thing's all back together. We're making ice. Bridge thickness looks good. It was a little thick before. We've got it adjusted. And... We're back in action. I had some residual water from the water leak, but it's dried up. I just wanted to double check and make sure the bin was not compromised. Seems to be okay. And uh, we got the T4 sensors bad. No big deal. I really don't care about those. Those are just... The T3 and T4 sensor is just for diagnostics. It has nothing to do with the actual function of the ice maker, so who cares? Um, if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you haven't yet, please subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Come on, Tippins.